Hey everybody, so I'm back with another sewing video today. I know I haven't done one for a while, but um, as I mentioned in the video where I talk about what I got for Christmas, I'm going to be making um, a padded case for um, the portable hard drive that I got. But you can also make this for like an iPod or cell phone or camera or whatever. Any kind of little electronic, I guess. It's just like a padded case. And it's really easy. It's basically just um, a little pouch and I'm going to have an elastic that loops over onto a button for the closure. And the best part about this is you can decorate it however you want. So I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be decorating mine with an owl theme because everyone knows that I love owls. So I'm gonna be doing that. And it only has one pattern piece, just a rectangle, and the rest is up to you, as I said, for the decorations and whatever you want. So what you need is just fabric for the outside. I'm actually using two for the outside and for the lining. You want to use something soft so it doesn't scratch your um, electronic device so I'm using brown fleece. You're gonna need some thin elastic this is just quarter inch uh, width elastic and a button whatever kind you want and then of course some uh, different fabrics for your decorations I just have mine all in here I'll show you those in a bit when we get to them. and you'll just need some basic sewing things uh, needle and thread sewing machine scissors and pins so now that you have all your supplies let's get started. So I'm going to start by cutting out the fabric for my lining. So I have my brown fleece here, and I have it folded so there's two layers because we need two of these. So I just have my pattern piece here, which is 4 inches by 5.5 .5 inches. That's just for the electronic that I'm making a case for, but you can adjust this to whatever um, you're making a case for. So I'm just going to lay this down and pin it all the way around. Cut around the whole thing with about a half inch seam allowance. So here's my two lining pieces cut out and I'm just going to set those aside and now I'm going to cut out my um, outer fabric. Again, if you were making the outside just one solid fabric you would use this piece but I'm going to make mine two colors as I said. So all I did was take the original size and just cut one section that's about a third of the height of the entire piece. So I'm going to take my smaller section, pin that down and do the same thing, cut around the whole thing with about a half inch seam. So now I have this. I forgot to mention you want your fabric folded in half because you need two pieces of that. So I have two there. I'm going to set those aside and now take the other piece that I cut for my outer fabric and I'm going to take this purple tweed, which again, fold it in half because I need two of them. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Pin this down and cut around it with a half inch seam allowance. So now I have these two pieces, which then are going to be sewn to these, but we'll get to that in a minute. So just set all that aside. Now you need something that's going to act as the padding for your case. So I just have, I don't know what this is, it's like really, really thick felt, but you can use cotton batting or, you know, whatever you want. Another layer of fleece maybe would be good. So I'm just going to take my original pattern piece, the full size, and I'm going to cut out two of those out of whatever um, cushy stuff you're going to use for the pattern. So now I have my two pieces of padding. I'm going to put those aside and now I'm going to bring back in, um, in my case, the four pieces of fabric, the two of the purple tweed and the two of the yellow corduroy. Um, now what I'm going to do is put these face to face, good sides together, like that. And then I'm going to pin along each of these seams and sew them so I have one piece that's the same size as, you know, this and the lining. Alright, so now I have my pieces sewn together. As you can see, just like that, it's just top stitched to make it look nice. So again, um, now would be the time to add your interfacing to the wrong side of your outer pieces, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to do that today. Now I'm just going to put these aside again, and I'm going to get out um, the things that I already have cut for the decorations. Alright, I hope you can see everything I have here. So for my decorations, as I said, I'm making it an owl, so I have my basic owl shape cut out here. I have a piece for like his eyes, it's going to go there the little wings, you know, it'll look better when I do it, like for real, and where did that go? Beak, and then I just have two buttons that I'm going to glue or sew on for eyes right there, and then this is just the button I'm going to use for the closure. These Some little leaf shapes cut out here, just of um, two different green pattern fabrics, and then with brown I just cut out some branch shapes. I'm back with my outside pieces all decorated and what I did was I just tacked it down with a bit of um, hot glue 
but you want to keep the glue more to the inside of your pieces because um, as you can see I just sewed around the edge. Now we're going to start assembling. So with the two outside pieces I'm going to lay them right sides together, get them all lined up, and I'm going to pin these three sides leaving the top open. So I'm just going to pin all the way around here and then sew those three seams as well. Alright, so I sewed those three seams on my outer pieces and this is what it looks like turned right side out. Let's see? And then it's open in the top. Now I'm going to show you how to assemble the lining. So I'm going to take my two pieces of fleece for the lining and my two pieces of felt or cotton batting, whatever you're using for the uh, padding part. What you want to do is put your lining pieces face down so the wrong sides are up and then you're going to take your padding pieces and lay those right on top so they line up as best as they can. Mine aren't perfect because you know I'm messy when I cut things sometimes but it's good enough so it's like that and now you want to flip one of them over so it's the lining piece right side up and lay the other one like that so it's like a sandwich. Now you're going to do the exact same thing you did with the outer pieces. You're going to sew three seams, so that's the top. So I'm going to pin along this side and this side and this side, but on the bottom you need to leave a gap to turn it right side out. So I'm just going to mark with my pins here just to show you. And this is a lot of layers to sew through, so you want to take your time. So I'm not going to sew over this area right here. I'm going to start here go up here and then start from that side of the pin and go up here. So I'm just going to pin that, sew them leaving the top open for sure and this little hole in the bottom. So I'm going to do that. With your lining piece still like this with um, the lining on the inside and your cotton or felt or whatever on the outside, you're going to take your outer piece which is right side out and you're going to just stuff it inside the lining. So it's like that. And now you just want to figure out which side's the front of your outer piece, which mine is on this side. And you're going to put that face down so the back of your outer piece is up. And you're going to take your piece of elastic and stuff that between the back outer piece and the lining so it's sandwiched between. And then you're going to have to pin this really carefully. You're going to line up um, the edge of the elastic on one corner. Just try to pin that. And then making sure it's still between those two pieces, just line up the corner on the other side and pin that. Alright, so now your elastic's in place, and now all you're going to do is just line up the side seams of the lining and the outer piece, like this, and you're just going to pin around the entire top here and sew that whole thing shut, and then I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so I have that sewn, and now comes the fun part, which is turning it right side. And now you're going to just sew up this hole that we left earlier in the lining, so just fold it in on itself a little bit. Pin it and then just top stitch across that hole. So I've sewed that hole shut and now I'm just going to stuff the lining back into the outer piece. So now I'm just going to glue on this button right here for the closure and the button eyes and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright guys, so I'm finally done my little padded case. So this is what it looks like from the front. A cute little roughed up owl and there's the button for the closure that, you know, that'll hook onto. I'll show you that in a minute. And then see the branch carrying around to the back and it looks like that and there's the inside as you can see just barely fits because there's so much bulk down in the bottom but it's in like that and then see the elastic just loops over and hooks under the button and it holds it in on the top so there it is so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching bye